Hello everyone, welcome to the Suprema webinar. We will introduce the new features in Biostar 2 version 2.9.8. Today we'll take a look at the latest updates and features designed to improve security, usability, and performance. We will focus on introducing the features without a demo video showing the detailed procedure. Finally, we will finish the session by introducing the features that have been discontinued since version 2.9.7. Let's get started. Biostar 2 is Suprema's advanced security platform, combining access control, time attendance, and user management into one powerful solution. The new features of Biostar 2, version 2.9.8, released this time include the addition of a file upload item to the user custom field, which allows you to upload and manage files such as personal information consent forms as file data for the corresponding Biostar 2 user information. In the user detail settings, a new feature has been added to add a personal message for each user, which allows you to output a specified message when the user is successfully authenticated on a Biostar 2 device with an LCD. In addition, a feature to reject authentication when wearing a mask has been added. Also, it improves the mobile card management, and the existing timed anti-passback feature has been improved. In addition, UI and performance improvements, security vulnerability improvements, etc. are included. Finally, Biostar 2 video is no longer available in version 2.9.8. Custom user fields can be used when you need additional fields for user information other than the basic user information provided. From version 2.9.8, the ability to upload files has been added. We will look into this in detail on the next page. Let me explain the user custom fields again. In addition to the user fields that Biostar 2 provides by default, you can define various types of field input values using custom user fields. Previously, it supported three types, text input box, number input box, and combo box, but Biostar 2 version 2.9.8 supports the file upload function. For example, you can upload a file such as a personal information consent form and manage the document and user information to see whether the user has agreed to operate the Biostar 2 system. This information is not transmitted as the user information of the device, but is stored in Biostar 2. Due to the limitations of upload files, there are no format restrictions and the file size is limited to one megabyte. Please refer to the following page for file name restrictions. Let's see how to set it up. After logging into Biostar 2, select Settings from the menu bar at the top, then select Server. Then, if you scroll down, you can find the Custom User Field menu as shown below. Here, click the Add button, select File Upload from the types of custom fields to use, and select the Apply button. Then, Biostar 2 is ready to set up. Let's go to the User page. Click the User menu, then select Add New User or Existing User Information. Check if the selected user information has the custom field name you added before, then click the Browse button and select the desired file document. Uploaded documents can be saved and downloaded by the system administrator. Next is the Device Display Message function. This function was provided in the device firmware, but it was difficult to use through the Biostar 2 web UI. Let's see how it is supported in version 2.9.8. The device display message feature is simple. When a user is successfully authenticated, a personal message set for the user is displayed. This feature can be used to display a welcome message to new employees or visitors. Or, if you set it the day before their birthday and authenticate the next day, you can see Happy Birthday. Please try using the Biostar 2 API in various ways. Most Biostar 2 devices with LCDs support this feature, but we recommend checking with Suprema technical support in advance. Let's introduce the feature in three steps. First, you need to enable the option to use this feature on your device. Then, in the user menu, enter a message for that user. After that, when that user authenticates, you can see the message you set. After adding the device to Biostar 2, select the device. In the device settings information, check the server private message menu and activate it. 
Then click the user menu and check the device display message item on the user details page and enter the message to be displayed when user authentication is successful. If authentication is successful, you can see the text message you entered displayed at the bottom of the device pop-up. Let me introduce some additional options related to mask detection. The Suprema device also has the ability to authenticate users wearing masks. However, in areas with slightly higher security, there is an additional option to deny authentication when attempting to authenticate while wearing a mask, so that authentication can be enforced without the mask. For this feature, there is a separate compatible firmware version, so caution is required when using it. Next is the deleted mobile card management menu. When the mobile card, which is one of the credential information in the user menu, is deleted, the deleted CSN mobile card menu has been added to manage these records. Through this, you can check and manage the deleted mobile card information. Are you making good use of the timed anti-passback feature added in Biostar 2 version 2.95? In version 2.98, two more features have been added to increase usability and flexibility. Previously, timed APB settings were supported with door information, but from version 2.9.8, settings are supported for each door device. In addition, by adding the bypass group option, it is possible to set a user access group that passes the timed anti-pass back rule. Let's take a quick look at the UI changes and performance improvements made in Biostar 2 version 2.9.8. In the device list, in addition to the firmware version information, you can now check detailed information. This allows you to know in more detail whether it is a regular version, a beta version, or a customized version. The UI for setting the relay open time in the door menu has been revamped. The menu has been modified to allow you to set the time for the door relay to turn on in seconds. You can set it in one second increments up to a maximum of 900 seconds. The performance of the dashboard and report has been improved and the usability has been improved. For example, when generating for 10,000 users, there used to be a waiting time of about one minute, but from version 2.9.8, you can see that it is generated immediately. In addition, for the report service, the report service has been removed from the service list of Biostar 2 setting and merged into the Biostar 2 AC service. The following is a predefined Wiegand card format. This menu is a feature that is only supported under the conditions of a newly installed new installation environment. When upgrading from an older version to version 2.9.8, it may conflict with the previously set custom Wiegand format settings so it is not supported. On the event log page in the monitoring menu, elevator and zone columns have been added to help you view event logs more clearly and create filters. Suprema Biostar 2 continues to strengthen security and fixes discovered bugs with each new version update before releasing it as a regular version. This Biostar 2 version 2.9.8 has improved USB agent security, updated web security, and fixed many other bugs. Detailed revisions can be found in the revision notes on the Suprema Knowledge Base site. Or you can also check the revision notes on the page where you download the Biostar 2 installation file from the Suprema Download Center. This is the last session of this webinar. Biostar 2. Video function is no longer supported in Biostar 2, version 2.9.8. Please note that upgrades are not supported. Including these contents, I would like to introduce the functions that are not supported after Biostar 2, version 2.9.7. With the release of Biostar 2, version 2.9.7, the installation process has changed.
the new version no longer includes Chrome in the installation package due to ongoing updates and compatibility issues. After installing Biostar version 2.9.7, you will need to install Chrome separately to access the software. If your company requires using Microsoft Edge instead of Chrome, please contact Suprema's technical support team for assistance. This update aims to enhance flexibility while ensuring compatibility with various IT policies. Also, due to the various improvements related to the visual face explained above, Biostar 2 version 2.9.7 no longer supports the old firmware of FaceStation F2 version 1 firmware. FaceStation F2 version 1 customers need to upgrade firmware to use Biostar 2 version 2.97. For the latest firmware change information, please check the following link. All functions related to Biostar 2 Video will be removed starting from Biostar 2 version 2.9.8. Therefore, environments using Biostar 2 version 2.9.7 or earlier that use the Biostar 2 video function should not upgrade to version 2.9.8. Please be aware of this. Let's wrap up by looking at the items introduced in this webinar. Biostar 2. Version 2.9.8's new features include the addition of a file upload item to the user custom field, which allows you to upload and manage files such as privacy agreements as file data for the corresponding Biostar 2 user information. In the user detail settings, a new feature has been added to add a personal message for each user, which allows you to output a specified message when the user is successfully authenticated on a Biostar 2 device with an LCD. In addition, a feature to reject authentication when wearing a mask has been added, and the existing timed anti-passback feature has been improved. In addition, UI and performance improvements, security vulnerability improvements, etc. are included. Finally, Biostar 2 video is no longer available in V2.9.8. For today's webinar session or additional technical inquiries, please contact support.supremainty.com. For product inquiries, please contact supremainty.com. Thank you so much for your time. I hope today's webinar was helpful for you in using Biostar 2. See you in the next Biostar 2 webinar session.